Okay, over to the marine traffic. Now this, we talk about Shanghai, we talk about the shutdown, and I gotta tell you folks, I've never seen anything like this in my uh, 30 years of aerospace and defense supply chain stuff. This is just mind boggling. And this right here is getting ready to come home to roost right here because we get a lot of stuff out of there. Um, those are boats that are sitting. Uh, if you get in close, those are thousands of cargo boats. Greener cargo, red are oil tankers. Notice they aren't going anywhere. They are all just sitting idle. These are moving a little bit, but these are all waiting to get in to be loaded. If you get into the port section into Shanghai and further on in, you can see same thing. These are all the reason they're circles is because they are anchored. They're not going anywhere. That's bad news for everybody in the world because if this stuff isn't moving, that means production manufacturing has stopped. That means you're gonna have a span of time between the time manufacturing gets turned back on to the time it gets to this port, to the time these boats get loaded and out, which is then about two to three weeks to the destination. And then another, if it's coming to Long Beach, 17 days for unload. So you're talking about two months before you see anything. Now, that's assuming that your boat's already in there ready to go and the containers are gonna get loaded and put on. However, if your boat's sitting out here, by the time these boats get in there, after this backlog is set up and the backlog of production that just got shut down for two weeks, uh, you are probably talking about four to six months before you see anything coming to your shelf. That means here in the US, folks, we've got about two to three weeks before you start to see the shelves start to empty out of the stuff that's coming from China and you're not gonna see it back again for probably anywhere from two to six months uh, before it starts to come in. Now, the bad news is this isn't the food shortage they're talking about. This has probably very little to do with it. This is a completely different dynamic uh, that is just gonna feed the fire, so to speak. So this is way bad beyond way bad because what that means is you're gonna have a hiccup uh, that's gonna hit, you're gonna see some shortages, and then you're gonna see the real food shortage hit. My guess is the timing is probably right around the time of uh, the election. Sometime between August and October, uh, it's going to basically be knee deep in Kimchi, so to speak, here in the US, um, where we'll see a lot of stuff. And if the shortages are to the extreme that I think they're going to be, uh, we could very likely see some unrest, which could actually stop us from even doing an election and put us in that holding pattern that uh, you know they want us to be in. Because if we go to an election and it isn't interfered with, uh, there is a possibility that this stuff will actually, uh, you know, they're gonna lose a lot of, a lot of